There's so much about you. All right, so welcome on YouTube. So it is time for me to do a review of Netflix's Love is Blind. So let's get into it. Ow. Woo. <laughs> All right, so if you've been living under a rock and completely do not know what is the this show is about, it is called Love is Blind. Here, you will choose someone to marry. Hello. Nice to hear from you. Okay. Can't say see ya. Without ever seeing them. The show is hosted by Nick Lachey and Vanessa Milano, that is his wife. And luckily, we really get to see them in the show because the show is really focused on the persons who are participating in this experiment to truly discover and find out if love is blind so they have um, a group of gentlemen they are on one set of um, the, the compound and they have the woman on a different area of the compound and they have to meet in these pods where they cannot see each other um, they cannot see any outline the only thing that they're able to have access to is their voices so they are they, they enter the pods you know male over here female over here and they have discussions with a variety of um, people and they are able to I guess pick and choose the ones who they have the greatest connection with and if they feel um, good about that connection they have the opportunity to know propose to that individual will you be my wife and it is only then after the person accepts accepts the proposal that they'll be able to meet each other face to face for the first time so and then they basically have less than a month to get married think about that if that is not a, a recipe for a good and interesting show i don't know what is i literally don't know the bachelor who <laughs> So honestly, I do not know how I got wrapped up and caught up in this show, but I just found the show interesting. Do I want to marry him? I don't know. So let me just jump into the couples. You now, one of the couples, the black couple, that um, you know, got things started out to the point where there, were, there was a proposal is Carlton and Diamond. Now I'm pretty sure, I am very sure you have seen this, this viral moment where Carlton got into a very heated argument with Diamond. No. Have your mom. Goodbye. You, you can go. It. You can go because you got some you issues. Need it. And I, I have now. issues because yes, I'm you telling do. my you truth. You have some serious issues. In the show, him said did have a secret. Him have something to hide and all of these things. And his secret was spoiler alert in case you just, you know, spoiler alert is that he is um, bisexual. And so he didn't want to give Diamond that information until he proposed to her. No, that is just one big. Mistake, wrong bang, right there from the get go. So eventually, no, um, it reached the point where you know they, they saw each other, everything went well, and then when it was time now for them to be in the hotel, appear attitude, um, Carlton, I give diamond. So they went down to the pool now, and a time for you know Carlton for you know give him two cents and share from him heart, but. You see, when the boy go tell the girl, it's like the boy if start to make himself look like the sole victim and Diamond have no say at all. Me can't understand. You come put down this information upon the girl and expect say it's not something where she need to take some time and process. And Diamond was actually trying to be open and try to have a civilized conversation and this brother decides say him going to snap at her. Like say, me not some tracing match down at Jonestown. Fuck with me. I, I gave you one. your ring back. I don't give a I fuck about a ring. That. Fuck a ring. Fuck a ring. This is why I don't deal with bitches like you. Oh, I'm a bitch now. <laughs> Calling the girl out of her name and I talk about her lace front and up. It was messy. Messy, messy, messy. And Carlton, Carlton, oh my gosh. The fact that he was also on a, um, a Real Housewives episode years back with him, you know, the situation here. So, and he was up there for the people in place. Uh, Don't be disrespectful. Security. 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 I work here, dear. You'll be ushered out before me. I think I want to talk about the, the, one of the couples that never really excited me. And that was Kenny and Kelly. No, why? Um, I mean, two Caucasians, they were nice, they were cool-ish, but me just honestly, boy, me think Kenny, Kenny a good youth. Him come from a good family, um, everything they just cool, but Kelly, Kelly look like she just obsessed with money, look like Johnny Bravo, like the type of money when she dare with a man, because it's not, I mean, I know how Kelly I go and say no, because it's not like say Kelly is... You know what I mean, Travis, eh? It's not like, you know, she like no Megan good or no, you know, you know, you know, you get what I mean, say? So, but she seemed like she have a certain standard boy. It just based all about the physical 
and she just wanted the washboard abs and the, you know them something there and I guess you know Kenny wasn't that fair so that is exactly why she um left him on the aisle she tell she kept telling you know, so she now got married him and boy that must well well embarrass him make me feel it for him though I'm, I'm trying to man, I'm love the girl, but I feel like, it's like um, Kelly will regret it. Because what she has run down is less about what is inside and more about on the outside. And she's a big woman now, she's in her 30 and she thinks so she's a kind of outside a little stage there now. Okay? But for them relationship, it just, we didn't think it never last because it's just regular and consistent and you know them in a little habit, but not, not, they want like a flavor, you know, they want like a sprinkle of some, you know, some little seasoning on it. <laughs> no, which other couple know? Oh! I need to talk about Jessica and Mark. Jessica and Mark. Jessica and Mark. No, me didn't know that this couple wasn't going to last from the get-go because Jessica want Barnett from a long time now. I'm so talk about Barnett. Jessica really did just jump to Mark for kind of see her face you know, and make it look like so she can still pull somebody. Because from the get-go when she was in the pods, she had killed up herself for Barnett. But Barnett go and pick somebody else and that did hurt her and she come back round. To Mark, the 24 year old idiot, we just him, 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 me not know, him just obsessed with love, but me not think him really fully 100% understand what he was getting himself into. Because most of the time, you know, it's when you know, like, you know, like, you know, people who are younger, them have this weird perception of how them think the world is, but them don't really understand the reality. So, somebody who is older now probably can create, you know, better leverage and kind of know, say, yo. Me know you in a while like a fairy tale type of idea and say yo, but the practical part of it is that eh, eh, we, um, this not really compatible right now. And the little dirty part of Jessica know we keep on up. Jessica, Jessica did just like a couple times I feel like I just want me just want to fling some water and I finish through the TV. Jessica did that at me man. Because she keep on go back and I try to get back by and I try to talk about Boy, I guess your life looks good over there. Must be nice. And then she'll be talking about she never did want to get a um, mark and look a pum pum and look at something there, but eventually she did. And I guess that did all her, all her off um, in a little meantime. But she tell the brother no at the aisle. So that was kind of rough for the finale. She tell Mark no, boy, I feel it for Mark. But Mark is a blessing in disguise. You might not understand, you know, but your dad draw and bullet because. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> And then she had like the she, Jessica have one of the weirdest like Valley Girl voice like I, <laughs> I don't know Mark Mark I, I maybe want a family and it's like the whole entire time Jessica never want to get married Jessica was just waiting on somebody else to convince her and tell her do not marry Mark she was thinking it but somehow she wanted somebody else to say it even to the point where she met up with her friends and she was telling her friends about the age difference with Mark and her friends were very supportive and I don't think she really liked that and the way how she came around it was by when they said that um, Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra that they have a 10 year age gap and Jessica was like oh my god I guess that's that's really cool well I guess if it is a trend then maybe I can get married <laughs> wow Hello. And then you had um, Amber and Barnett. No, Amber and Barnett, I'm not gonna lie, the two of them, them come like Barbie and Ken. They are fit for each other from the get go. I felt like both of them very superficial and them have this sarcasm type of wit. And I felt like, you know, they got each other. But you see, when Amber start to reveal her little lamb um, broke pocket nature and so she don't look like she have no ambition and she just want to be a stay at home mom and do nothing and she don't have any plans to contribute to the house me think that, that was going to be a big red flag for um for, 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 for Barnett but Barnett, me, boy Barnett married her Barnett said I do to Amber and all of her 20,000 had um old school fee and all kind of loan and all kind of things so I, boy it look like say I'm um, um, Amber have the good good juju because me don't know how you couldn't realize that this girl just a look a place for live. She look somewhere where she can go and have to pay no rent. But Barnett is just blinded and Barnett. Barnett was the person who all of the most of the girls did have kill themselves over. And Barnett was kind of playing the game and lead them on him. Did a lead on Jessica to the point where Jessica reject, rejected Mark initially. Barnett him, him very indecisive. But most him well with um with 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 Amber, but, but me think Amber still should gold digging. Me not think mm -mm, she not bring nothing to the table as far as what the show uh, reveals. And can we talk about Amber's laugh? Did you see my husband? Ah, he's so hot. I'm so drunk. 
drunk. Ah, ah. Really? <laughs> oh, well, my laugh no better neither. <laughs> no, you're one of the most interesting couples. I have to give this to Giannina and Damian. No, let me just say, like, um, I think Damian likes this, 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 this little vulnerable younger woman that seems like, oh my God, Romeo, save me, Romeo. <sighs> And Damien felt that he was going to come in like, you know, Superman with the cape and I'm going to save you, no need to fear, cause Damien is here. Dun, 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 dun. Like, I feel like that Damien thinking they're going to go on and then him realize that um, Giannina, she is batshit crazy. Her head go and come, she just come like JPS so they might lock off like, can I and mess up your fridge? Just whoop, gone. Whoop. I saw it gone, you get me? And him get to realize that she explosive. You're yeah. bringing me down! And when things don't go fair away, it's like it's almost like she's on the verge of like getting physical. Gianna, she, she's kind of scary. She's very scary. But no, Damien, Damien, that's not what I, I want you to come off your phone, Damien. Damien, I want you to come off your phone now. Now. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> And with somebody like Damien, Damien look very calm and calculated. Like Damien seems like the type of person who will sit on and stalk if you look a while and then one day him just like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Damien, despite all of the nice things that he did and that he said, I feel that Damien is a low-key savage. Something him just did to Giannina. You are the one I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, did you see his cry at the aisle? Me not trust that at all. But when they when when it was time for them to get married, he actually rejected her. Um, right up there in front of all of the family, and Janina went off. She all dropped. When she gone outside, the cameraman had to run her down and it was just very embarrassing, I'ma feel it. But you know, um, Damien, you deserve your cool two box for your face because honestly, you led that girl on, especially the last part, when she only they have conversations and she talk about separating and all of, all of these things. And Damien, make sure say him wine and dine her car go in a helicopter, to, um, put out roses all apart the apart um all uh, all over the apartment, all of these things, and you know. You never tell her no. That? Mm-mm. Me, me don't know if I salute you for, for just the little, the little, me don't, you're wicked. That was very clever. If I saw you wicked and awful, that, you're calculated and clever, but can you let that girl on into thinking so you would say yes? <laughs> no, I do this. And so the last couple is actually my favorite couple, the interracial couple, and that is Lauren and Cameron. Now, from the get-go, they were the first couple to actually see each other. They were the first to propose. Um, they were the first to really give me a sense of um, longevity. It's like they, 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 they met each other at a point in time where all the stars and everything was aligned. She was settled in her career. He was settled, she's a content creator. I guess she's like a YouTube, YouTuber like myself. And he is a scientist. I mean, he, the way him look, when he meet her, the way him look on her, you can't tell her true love. Like, him look on her like so she is the most magnificent creature that he has ever laid eyes upon. And I know, let me tell you, you know, Lauren stay good. Lauren look good, Lauren, mm. And she have look okay waist and the nice like a model type of thing on her feet. And her mother. Honestly, our mother have one nice, youthful, effervescent type of personality. It's like you understand how Lauren just ends up staying good from head to toe. Like, wow. And, um, yeah, man, this day were my, definitely my favorite couple. Like, they never really have no big cuss out argument. They respected each other. They talked about their feelings. They emptied and poured in their soul. They never, they weren't attracted to anybody else that was a part of the whole um, pod setup. From the get go, they were just focused on each other. And me just like really love and appreciate that. The only thing is that Lauren did kind of wonder so if, she, if she really forgive up her like a single life can look like so she really comfortable living on her own. But why my like a Jimmy Neutron friend, my like a geek friend, <laughs> Cameron, him jumping for the kill and him win her over, him take away the black girl. Me I say, wow, this was very nice. And so when the both of them said, I do, um, on the wedding day, like it definitely made me feel good. I the only couple of them say yes, 
The way I celebrate the things I just find out about just um, come back out of retirement. <laughs> they were my favorite couple and some of us wish them all the best. But this show, this Love is Blind show on Netflix, I tell you, it is so interesting for somebody like me who just loves anthropology. I love um, studying people and just how we interact. And I can't believe I just... The, the fact that they separated people and they had them just communicating just to be without social media and to just hearing voices, they got a chance to really empty them souls and just for understand somebody on a deeper level and that for me is something that I feel is missing in um, the world today because of all of these distractions, we're, un we're unable to really tap into the true heart and soul of people and so love is blind i hope them have a next season and it's a very good show just for kind of watch and take with some things from and just you know look on and say hmm i wonder how i would have interacted in this situation could i get married to somebody that i've never seen hmm. I don't know, so let me know what you thought about the show and what was your favorite couple on the show. Me I said Lauren and Cameron and if you have another couple that you felt it was your favorite or you mo that are the most interesting, I want to hear in the comment section. Okay, so ensure um, if you like the video, please, you know, give me a thumbs up right here. Turn on your post notifications and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. I'm also on TikTok at Dutty Berry Show. Anyway, take care until next time. Oh, is love blind? I don't know. Woo!